Hey guys, so I just got my second Azure Standard order and I wanted to talk to you a little bit about what the process has been like and what the drops are like, kind of take you with me, show you guys a few clips of what it was like going to pick it up and open up my order with you guys so you can see what we're ordering from Azure Standard. What do you know, Kitty found the box. Hey darling, can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five. Orange. Orange. Hey, darling. We could get out of town. Baby. See the beautiful world. You want baby? Pack our bags and get in that car. Leave a little note and we'll drive real far. Let's get out, we can leave this city. Malachi has been loving his love every play kits. He especially loves this little baby. What's this? Baby. He especially loves his little baby. He loves these little ring toys. He puts them on by himself. He's so smart. And he's got a new puzzle. He's got all kinds of toys. He certainly makes a mess with them. But they're definitely more aesthetic pleasing, aesthetically pleasing than like other toys. <laughs> so we really like these toys. And if you are wanting to try them out, they're a subscription play kit and they send kits for your child's developmental age. So this is the kit for 13, 14, 15 months. And it's just been great. So I'll put put a link in the description below if you're interested in trying them out. Let's get out, we can leave this city. Let's drive to the open air. Yeah, the countryside is so pretty. With the wind blowing in your hair. We can look back someday. Baby, don't you understand? That we only get one life on. So first things first, I really had no idea what to expect with Azure Standard. I did not know what a drop was other than you just went to a specific location and you picked up your things. So I thought I would just go to the location and pick up my things. So the first time I went, I brought Malachi and I just picked him up out of the car, was carrying him, uh, holding him in my arms, went to the location and quickly realized that I did not have the right plan in mind. So how the drop I go, go to works is a truck comes um, and the person unloads the large pallets of products and puts the boxes down on the truck and then each person helps unload the truck. So everyone there for the drop helps unload the truck and tries to organize the boxes according to who they're for. So the first time I went, it was super packed. There was dozens of people and there were a lot of boxes. So it took a long time to unload and here I am holding Malachi and just really clueless. I couldn't really help because I couldn't hold him and pick up boxes, but I was just standing around trying to figure out how everything worked. Essentially, your orders are organized by cases. So I had four cases for this last order, which just meant four boxes with all the things I ordered. I think I probably had ordered like 10 different things and they're just organized in different boxes. So all you need to make sure is that you know how many cases you have and that you have the right number of cases when you leave. So when you get to your drop, they'll have a form for you that has your name, it has the number of cases you should expect to be taking, and then you can find the boxes that have your name on them. Um, every drop might be a little bit different, but that's how mine is organized. So it's a little bit more complicated than you might think. It involves a little bit more labor, picking up boxes for everybody, and a little bit of figuring things out when you get there. You might be there for 30 minutes to 45 minutes. It might be quicker if you have a smaller drop, or it could be longer if it's a huge drop and there's just tons of stuff to unload and it takes a while to find your stuff. So I just wanted you guys to expect that because if you look at the drop time and see 8 a.m. and you get there at 8 a.m. expecting to leave by 8.05, you might be there till 8.30. I didn't get home until like 
So I have my boxes here. I have three boxes because the fourth case is a bag of 25 pounds of oats, which is a lot of oats. Um, yeah, it's a lot of oats. So we got 25 pounds of oats and we got a bunch of other stuff. So let's go ahead and unload and see what we have. Well, I already noticed one problem. We'll talk about that in a second. So the first problem I noticed is that I did get oranges in this order since oranges are in season in California and one of the oranges is moldy. So I will need to figure out how exactly that works. The rest look good. They're beautiful, big oranges, but if you can see, that one is not so good and it has a strong smell to it. So I'm gonna figure out what to do about that. Um, but we'll see what else we got in this bag. We got some lemons. All purpose flour, unbleached organic for all of my sourdough baking needs. A lot bigger than a bag you get at the store. I got some avocados and these look really good. These actually look like the perfect level of ripeness. So I'm gonna probably be refrigerating these in a minute. Oh, perfect, they're just like almost ripe. So they're just the perfect level that you wanna get them at. So I'll leave them out. I'll leave a couple out and then I'll put some in the fridge. It's got avocados. Um, some cane sugar, which I actually just got more cane sugar from the store, but um, I think I forgot that I ordered it, but now we have plenty of cane sugar for a long time coconut sugar, and oh boy, a lot of chocolate chips. This is a five pound bag of chocolate chips and way more than we normally get. They're all organic and really, really yummy. Highly recommend getting chocolate chips. I also got this bag of red lentils. We've been using a lot more lentils in cooking. Really good for you, lots of iron, lots of protein, just super healthy. Oh, nuts. So I have two pounds of raw walnuts, five pounds of raw cashews, 10 pounds of bread flour. So I like to use a blend of bread flour and all purpose flour in making sourdough. So that's box number one and two. And then box number three is pasta, <laughs> just pasta. It is Two bags of pasta. Hey babe, do you think this is enough pasta? <laughs> he's, chuck he's chuckling over there. <laughs> we won't buy pasta, isn't like, didn't I say this would probably get us through like six months? Okay, so that is the order and then I got the 25 pounds of oats. And the total for the order was around 250, which seems like a lot, and it is a lot, but it's this, these things right here, the nuts that are so expensive, as well as the chocolate chips. And I mean, this is a lot of food. This is gonna make all of our bread probably for the next few months. We have all of our lentils probably for the year, our oats for the next few months, um, pasta for many months. And I mean, if you think about as a homesteader, if you have your lentils and you have things like tomato sauce and you have things like, there's really easy ways to cook with that. So I've been making like lasagna with tomato sauce, lentils, and gluten-free lasagna sheets with cashews to make a ricotta. And so I have all of those things I need to make that right here, aside from the lasagna sheets, but I could make like a lentil a pasta casserole with like a cashew sauce and our tomato sauce and the pasta. So there's like so many meals we can make with all this food. And really it's, it's such a good value and you save a lot of money buying bulk. So I compared the costs to what I was buying at the store uh, to see what the price difference would be and it was pretty significant and i can do next time i do an order i'll like create a, a list of the price differences and how much we've saved by going through azure standard and i'll share that with you guys so that's our order i hope that was interesting to you guys and I'm curious what questions do you have about azure standard have you tried it before are you interested in joining a drop starting a drop um, or even just trying it out so i'm curious to hear what you think in the comments below Okay, okay friends, see you guys soon.